Now when you've got a tank of cichlids like these and you notice lots of little baby fish in the tank, it's really good to go through periods of fasting. And what I mean by that is like literally not feeding the fish for one to two weeks. Now there's, an, there's a number of predatory fish in this tank and these predatory fish should be able to help eat these little crossbred fish. So if you are getting a large um, population of crossbred babies which are going to grow up and exceed the capacity of your aquarium, let's say you don't have somewhere else for them to be or you don't want to raise the crossbreeds, then not feeding your fish for a period of one to two weeks doesn't hurt the fish in any way, shape or form. But you do want to monitor the fish's belly because if you notice the fish's belly is getting thin, you need to abort that and just go back to feeding again. But if they've got nice healthy bellies, then every few months, um, even up to once a month, go through a fasting period. And these predatory fish really won't bother eating the little babies until they get hungry. So if you go for a period of time and you don't feed them, it's no problem for the fish whatsoever, as long as you don't see the belly start to thin out. And then when the fish get hungry, they'll get more drive to eat the babies. And then if you are eating the babies, there's less chance of your tank being overpopulated with crossbred fish. Because if you allow the tank to get overpopulated with crossbred fish, then what will happen, which is like what happened to this tank last time, where they all just breed themselves into one population and they lose all their colour. You need fresh blood and fresh genetics and good diversity in order to have good colour in your fish. So what I do with this tank every few years, pull most of the fish out that have got no colour and replace the um, crossbreeds with nice colourful new stock so the tank looks nice and vibrant and bright again.